Hey friends, how are you? Hope you're well. I, I'm here today to do my August wrap up. Um, I know it's a bit later than I was expecting, but with being away, I decided I wasn't going to try and squish a video in, you know, in the weekends before trying to get everything organised for going away. So that's why this video is kind of coming up, so sort of middle of September, as it were. August was not a bad month for me actually. I read twelve books which was a total of 4,084 pages, which is, I think is not bad. Like if I look back to July, July I think was quite a good, was a, was an even better month. Yeah, July was, well, July was 15 books and 4,400 pages. So I'm, you know, I'm not that far behind where I were, but, but I'm not kind of going, oh yes, I've got to read X, X number of pages in a month. It's like, no, I'm not doing that at all. It's, we'll just, take the page count as it comes and we'll take it from there. My favourite book of the month was The Sound of Sleigh Bells by Janet Daly. I gave this four and a half out of five. Um, this was part of her Christmas Tree Farm series and I absolutely adored it. So scores wise, I had no five star books. I had two four and a half star books. I had six four, four star books. I had three three and a half star books. I had one three star book and that was it. All the other ratings were, I didn't have any. If I break down the number of books per format, I had six physical books, four Kindle books and two audio books. So that is actually a really nice breakdown. You know, um, I am reading for the last two months, I think. No, for the last three months I've been reading more Kindle, I think, than, no, more, actually this is quite good, I'm actually reading more physical books than Kindle books all the way through so far this year. That's quite nice, um, that's good, and I'm getting, you know, I'm either doing one or two audiobooks a month, so that, that is nice, um, as I say, all the Kindle books at the moment, I have to say, are review books. Um, but we'll discuss all. We'll discuss all my stats, the major stats, when it comes to like the end of the year. But it was a good month. Happy with my reading. Uh, I'm not, again not pushing things to sort of get ten to twelve books read a month. Is I think is good going. Um, really happy with it. So yes, yeah, so that's it. I mean, these these videos are nice and short, uh, just just to sort of fill you in on what I what I'm doing stats wise. Please let me know down in the comments. Are you keeping stats for your reading per month? If you are, how are you doing? Are you happy with them, or are there are there changes that you're sort of beginning to think about making for kind of the coming year? I'm sort of in the I've got little things twiddling around in my brain, but. I haven't put them on paper or anything yet. That's like, at the moment it's too early. I'll start making decisions around about the end of October, beginning of November, and then sort of make plans from there. But yeah, let me know if you what your statistics were, if you keep them for for your month. I would love to know. But until my next video, stay safe and happy reading. Bye.